Welcome, trainers. Thanks for joining us today for a preview of the upcoming game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, releasing January 28th exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system. Today, we wanted to give you a first look at some new gameplay. So let's begin. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region. In an age long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony, in time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Mount Coronet rises from the center of the Hisui region, surrounded on all sides by areas with distinct environments. Each area is rich in natural features and plays host to different Pokemon ecosystems. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see the trainer exploring here. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area in Hisui has loads to discover, and you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. These materials can be used to craft many items that will help you on your journey, including healing items, lures, smoke bombs, a mysterious invention called a Pokeball, and more. Your Pokemon team can help you collect these materials too. You can find all kinds of useful resources across the region just by breaking rocks, picking up plants growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokemon, or knocking items out of trees. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. All kinds of Pokémon will appear depending on the time of the day and the weather condition. Different species of Pokémon also have different temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach, like this Bidoof. Some species, like Starly, are skittish and will run away if they see you approaching. There are even aggressive Pokémon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. If an aggressive Pokémon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokémon will enter an alert state. In this state, all Pokéballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Pokémon. In order to catch a Pokémon in this state, you must battle it. You can initiate a battle by throwing a Pokéball containing one of your own partner Pokémon near a wild Pokémon. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokémon. For example, throwing a berry near a Pokémon will distract it. The Pokémon will then start eating. While eating, the Pokémon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. When encountering aggressive wild Pokémon, you have to be careful. These Pokémon will not think twice about attacking you. If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of the items you were carrying when you fainted. As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokémon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokémon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokédex, as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also receive funds from the Professor which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your research. The vastness of the Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout your adventure you will encounter a number of special Pokémon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weirdeer helps you navigate on land faster. Hisui and Braviary, on the other hand, allows you to soar through the skies. Basque Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokémon by your side, you will be able to explore the Hisui region to your heart's content.
Jubilife Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy Team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on how Pokémon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request, and preparing for your next excursion, you'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. After you finish your survey work, you'll return once more to prepare for your next task. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Village is also home to a variety of different services, such as the Clothier, the Craftworks, and the Trading Post, where you can trade Pokémon with other players. You can receive a variety of different missions and requests from the inhabitants of Hisui. Requests are small tasks that you do to help the residents of Hisui, while missions will advance the main story. Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your ARC phone. The ARC phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movements, mark locations on the map, and track your current missions and requests. Missions and requests vary in their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokémon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokémon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokémon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. You can initiate a Pokémon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokéballs at or near a wild Pokémon. If a wild Pokémon does not see you approaching, and you strike them with one of your partner's Pokéballs, this will catch them unaware, and may grant you an extra chance to attack in battle. Battles are turn-based, and you can get your Pokémon to attack in two unique styles. Strong style, or Agile style. Using a move in the Agile style raises the user's action speed, which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move's power. Strong style moves can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokémon's next turn. If an enemy can withstand one of your strong style moves, Prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Using agile style moves and strong style moves in battle causes your Pokémon's attacks to use more PP, so be careful when planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. While surveying the wild, you may come across a Pokémon that appears different to the others of the same species. These are known as Alpha Pokémon and are much larger and have glowing red eyes. Be careful when approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. Here, the player uses Agile Style Thunder Wave to paralyze their opponent, delaying their turns and making them easier to catch, while also changing move priority in an advantageous way for the player. Strategies like this are key to defeating Alpha Pokémon. 
Catching an alpha Pokemon is a challenge, but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. By visiting the Clothier, you can customize your character with a variety of different clothing items. As you progress through the game, you will unlock more outfits to purchase. Make sure to pick a style that speaks to you. Here is a quick look at some of the early customization options that trainers can wear. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. The Hisui region can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean you can't look your best. During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokémon called Noble Pokémon. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be recruited to calm these frenzied nobles. Simply defeating them in battle will not calm them. You will have to quell their frenzy by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokémon's favorite foods. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble with these bombs, as they will relentlessly attack you. The moment you see an opportunity, hit them with as many bombs as you can. Just like throwing a Pokéball, you need to aim carefully. Noble Pokémon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out and need to attempt the battle again. Balance throwing your bombs with dodging attacks to calm the Noble Pokémon. At some point during the fight, the Noble Pokémon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokéball and start a Pokémon battle. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokémon down. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokémon Legends Arceus. Countless adventures await you in the Hisui region, and we cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game after it releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. We will see you very soon in Hisui. Bye!